Hey everyone, this is Rob and Michelle and welcome to Boon Vape, your weekly podcast and everything you need to know about old school RuneScape. All right, so this week up on the docket, we actually don't have a ton to go over, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, there was only a couple blogs this week and by a couple, I mean one with a yep. little bit of a Q&A that the mods had. Which, sadly, I guess I'll get this out of the way. One of the mods on the panel was Mod Oasis, and they are bidding us goodbye. Oh. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, if you go over to the 2007 Scape subreddit for Old School RuneScape, then you'll see there that Jagex Oasis did make a post today about 10 hours ago from making this that it is unfortunate news. They are going to be leaving the Jagex team um, to move on to a different game. They didn't say which, of course, but... Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate that they are saying goodbye, but we bid them farewell, and it was nice having them. I feel like we've been losing a lot of people. I agree. I mean, Have we always lost as many people, and we just never really noticed? I don't think so, because, I mean, we had, like, Zuko leave last week, and then, I mean... Or a couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, and then we've had, yeah, quite a few notable names, especially. Feels like a lot of people, but, I mean, maybe this has always been a thing, and we just never paid attention. Yeah, maybe. I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure. It definitely seems like... At least more notable names, names that I know have been leaving more recently. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of unfortunate, but. It could be like that thing where, um, what's it called? Where like you learn a new word and suddenly it seems like you're seeing that word everywhere. Yeah, like, you, like, <laughs> find out if this car exists and you see it all over the street. Yeah, or like something. we're just seeing patterns where there's not really patterns. Yeah, I don't know. Let Who us knows? know what you think. But um, uh, either way, besides that, we are, of course, going to be going through the patch notes for this week, which is mainly mm -hmm. just some stuff for Giants Foundry, as well as some PvP updates and stuff like that. And then we'll be finishing off with a bit of a Q&A and a look at some stuff maybe from Reddit, since we did mention that earlier. There's some mm -hmm. interesting topics on there, so we might touch on those as well, because like I said, not a ton to go over this week. We do have our own Q&A as well. Yes. <laughs> but um, before we get into all of that, Michelle, how's it going? It's going pretty swell, I think. Yeah? Yeah. I've been doing a lot more chambers this week still. I'm still into chambers. Oh, I did um a solo. Oh, yeah. Solo you did, chambers. You did a couple solos, right? Yeah, I did too. The first one I did because we met a sub goal. And I was like, yeah, we meet the sub goal. It was like six more subs. I would uh, go and try solo chambers. And we met it very quickly. Very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> so I went and did that. And it took me like two hours, which is honestly better than I expected so that was fine and I was just happy to get the kill yeah and uh yeah later on that night no one was available to raid with me so I went and did a second solo and I think that took me like an hour and a half nice so already improving yeah that's that's pretty cool that's definitely better than <laughs> whatever you started <laughs> yeah my first was three of us and it took two and a half hours yeah but also to be fair that was with Witch Eileen and Gluten Girl both of who stream should check them out uh Eileen was like teaching us to do everything, and Glue and I were both getting carried. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty tough. So, yeah, uh, that took a while just because we were like fully, fully learning and actually being told what to do. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, uh, it was pretty cool. I didn't get much points. I didn't get any cool drops or anything, but so glad I tried. Yeah. Last... I mean, that's, it's, it's, the drop is the experience of the raid. Exactly. I obviously want big drops, but I'm not like grinding big drops per se. Yeah. So that makes me not get annoyed. Because, you know, I think like me with Dark Claw, as soon as you start like being like, the only reason I go to this place for is for a drop, it starts to get annoying every time you go there and you don't get the drop. Yeah, like you're not going there for a Tebow. Yeah. I mean, I hope I get a Tebow. I really wish I get a Tebow, but I'm not... I'm not going to be, like, devastated if I don't get a Tebow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you don't need it for something. Like, you're not planning on doing, like, a rebuild or something like that. Yeah. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, last night we also tried challenge mode, a few of us. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we had to leave. Yeah, Vespula okay. hard. None of us were confident at Vespula, so that's basically why. Oh, if yeah, we had one person who was confident, we probably could have done it. That's definitely a reason to not do yeah, it. Yeah, and afterwards people were like, I think possibly it was Wraith, like sent me a video on uh, how to do Vespula, and it was not quite what we were doing. So <laughs> no, <laughs> now I know. Vespula, I think, is one of the trickier bosses. I mean, literally everyone skips her. I uh, think Eileen yeah. said, Eileen, who's been there like hundreds of kill counts, she's, I'm pretty sure she said she's never done Vespula. 
because she yeah. just always skips her. And I'm like, well, that's fair. Well, I think, um, I mean, I could totally be wrong on this, but I think people only really like doing Vespula solo just because mm-hmm. it's like, I mean, it's kind of weird. Significantly but easier because her hit points are probably lower. It's a bit more simple. Like, it's annoying because you have to, like, flinch and you also take, you, like, are guaranteed to take damage. So it's, mm-hmm. like, kind of an annoying fight from what I've seen. But it's fairly simple where you just, like, are flinching the whole time and just, like, use mage. Yeah, I was, I remember I've, I've gone before, but, like, whenever I was first being, so I don't even remember. And I was just being told what to do, of course. Yeah. And I was uh just flinching and stuff. And there's also, like, these herbs that you have to grab and feed them to these big caterpillar bug things. They don't grow into soldiers, but. Oh, yeah, you don't even have to do that. Yeah, well, I mean, for solo. No, yeah, you don't even have to do that for solo. Yeah. If Like, if you, yeah, for solo, you just, like, ideally kill it in time. I mean, I guess that maybe is, like, the safer way to do it, mm-hmm. but, um. Yeah, at least the strategies I saw, you just, like, hopefully kill it in time before it turns into a soldier. You just hope the RNG is in your favor with those hits. Yeah, like, <laughs> hopefully you just are doing damage. Yeah. But uh, we kind of, we were, like, flinching at first, and then we all started focusing on getting herbs to kill the soldiers. And I think we probably should have, like, split up what we were doing, but it was a whole thing. We tried it. Yeah. <laughs> we tried it, and it didn't go well, but now, like, maybe next time we'll be able to do it. Yeah, I mean, at least you tried it. Yeah. We just wanted to have some experience and which I said, like, I knew we weren't going to get drop, obviously. Yeah. But um, I did say, like, at least now regular raids is going to seem so easy in comparison. And, bro, when I went back to Tekton after challenge mode, I was like, easy. Oh, easy yeah? peasy. He's not going back to the Anvil 12 times. This is so easy. Yeah, it's really easy <laughs> when he doesn't ever go back because you actually do the mechanic, right? Yeah. I mean, he still did go back, but not as much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely makes it a lot easier. Yeah, definitely. I prefer regular for now, <laughs> but I'm still glad I tried and I want to try again sometime soon. Yeah, I mean, eventually you'll probably go back because I mean, it gives you the recolors and the, the dust and stuff like that. But Yeah, I would love the the dust but first you know gotta get the pet i guess yeah i guess that <laughs> i would... think i'd be sad if i got the dust first because then i'd be grinding for the pet you know then it would just turn to sadness yeah <laughs> that would be pretty funny actually <laughs> but i would like like the twisted recolor kits yeah those I, are pretty i think the twisted kits are really cool they're some of my favorite in the i game. feel like i didn't even see them till like this year looking up raids because i never see people wearing them oh, they're really? just like ancestral robes and they turn them from like purplish to like greenish to green yeah and it's so cool I think, yeah, it looks really cool. And I like it because it's like an achievement thing where like, you know, you can like, only get it from Corrupted, right? Or sorry, Challenge. Mode. Yeah, you can only get it from Challenge where like all the other like recolors of stuff buy. or ornament kits. You, you Yeah, you just buy mm-hmm. or you get from like. That's probably why like I never see rewards. people wearing it because people don't get lucky and get the drop. Yeah, you'll see it every once in a while. Like usually the people that have like, you know, a lot of gear like scythes and stuff like that that have probably yeah. just had the time to go to raids will have it but yeah not many people like just run around with it yeah i would love to get that that'd be super cool yeah but uh also shout out to miha for like 20 minutes after the raid i don't know how skipping works or should i say i didn't know how skipping works but now miha, you're an expert. for like 20 minutes after my stream was on discord and uh like drawing on paint actually pretty good drawings on paint pretty accurate showing me how like An melee artiste. mage switching switching works skipping sorry mage switching <laughs> melee and mage skipping works and i i haven't tried it yet yesterday i was trying to just pay attention and like keep keep the head on the right side but uh i was kind of just messing up because i was overthinking it so i think i need to just observe a little bit longer <laughs> before i could do that okay. but i am glad that i actually understand because i never knew what people were talking about before oh for yeah, for that yeah. particular mechanic. Yeah, yeah, most of the people have tried to tell me, and they just tell me in chat, like, while I'm in the raid and I'm reading it, and I'm like, this doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, they say it gets for the special attacks, but I didn't understand, like, how it worked, like, how you do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now you know how to be an expert. Exactly. Even if I can't physically do it, mentally I know what's happening. I think that's half the battle, you know, knowing yeah. what you're doing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. That's good that you are, like actually understanding the fights and all the bosses and stuff like that other than that i got another purple this week another collection log so last week i'm pretty sure before the stream i got the ancestral row bottoms now i got the dexterous prayer scroll oh so dex scroll i have six out of 23 items in the collection log. those are sadly not worth nearly as much anymore they're worth like 15 mil though 
Yeah. I thought they were only worth one mil, so that no, was a pleasant no, that, surprise. That's, that's the arcane. Yeah, which we got the other day. Dating, who's been due to get purple for so long, got arcane. <laughs> nice. But it was a collection log for them, so it worked out. It was just due. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I'm i pretty excited about that. i am gotten so lucky. I'm only like 90 kill count, and I already have six things in the collection log. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's very good. That's Everyone a- says I'm being spooned. Yeah, that, I mean, well, I don't know about that, but it's it's definitely a pretty good rate. I mean, getting my code on 10 was a spoon. I don't know. That just influences everyone t- calling me a spoon now. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's hard to say because it is like. I um, am a spoon. It is, is a mega rare, saying. right? So it's like. Yeah, it's it pretty It's pretty lucky. Like to begin and I with. I had 5,000 points. It's 1% every 8,000 points. Yeah. Less than 1%. Yeah, so it was definitely really lucky. Like that item was spooned, but I mean, you haven't gotten like oh, well, the ancestral know. bottoms at like fifty one. Yeah. yeah, I guess I, that, I guess you are kind of spooned for sure. Yeah, but, but I don't know. I just imagine the real spoon will be me getting the pyre of the Tebo. Yeah, that's what I was imagining. Yeah, or even the elder mall. If I get another mega rare, then we'll know for sure I'm a spoon. <laughs> yeah, I'm a spoon. Why do I keep calling myself a spoon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were literally just a spoon. I'm a little golden spoon. Yeah, no, you're like one of the wooden <laughs> spoons they give you for free. Who gives you free wooden spoons? Oh, whenever you eat, like get ice cream and stuff. Oh, I was imagining like a big spoon. No, I was, I was like, imagining like a little. Like, they got money little, to waste. Like a little piece of wood. <laughs> I'm just a little piece of wood. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mostly, I've just been up to chambers. Don't know if I've gone to. I think I went to Skatiza once. Didn't get the claw. Don't worry, guys. No I'll let claw. you know. I'll let you know. Yeah, my sub goals right now, like, I I was trying to set it and set, like, bigger numbers, like, 150, 175, 200, like, that, I'll probably set goals. Oh, speaking of, Friday, I'm giving Robert a makeover for meeting 150. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. Why is it awful? You're going to look good. Yeah. I haven't done makeup in years, but you're going to look good. Yeah, awful. Yep. <laughs> but, uh... I was trying to set, like, smaller goals for every, like, 10. And I changed it to just grind a totem piece. But I might change it to do solo cha- solo chambers instead. Yeah. Because I kind of want to practice that more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Let me know if you have any ideas for sub goals because you girls are so uncreative. Think 175 at least. I will do the buying a bald cap and dressing as a bot. Oh, really? Yeah, I think that's that'd be funny. funny. <laughs> I think bald caps are, like, $15. And then... For the goatee, I think I'm going to get, like, brown mascara and just put it on my face. Oh, yeah? Because it would look like it would look like the lines, you know? Yeah. Like, textured. No. I don't know about wearing a fake beard again. That, sh- that was so itchy. Yeah. It was that's, so itchy. That'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> and just... I was thinking I'd get ready on stream, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just yeah? Just applying a bald cap on stream. Yeah. I've I mean... never applied one before. I'm sure I'm going to look ridiculous. Yeah. You know, to be fair, I don't think most people look good applying a bald cap, so... So I think you're in good company. There. You want to see that? Stop by the stream twitch.tv slash boonbape and uh, 175 subs. That's like 20 subs away or something. Yeah. Also, you guys are insane for still subbing. Holy moly. Yeah, it's actually crazy. We keep like surpassing the most subs we've ever had. Earlier this week, we we're at 158, but like, of course, people's subs run out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now it's a little bit lower, but so cool. It's so cool. You guys are all the best. And yeah, still no farming pet either. But that's all I've been doing. Oh, dang, still no farming pet. Still no farming Imagine? pet. I'm 38.6 million XP. Imagine not having a farming pet right now. You don't have a farming pet either. I know, but I don't I don't want one. Why don't you want a farming pet? Who doesn't want a farming pet? Because it's lame. You're just saying that because you don't have it. No, I don't want it. Hater. Anyway, we have the same number of pets now. Oh, yeah, finally. Vorkath. It took you forever Phoenix. to get pets. Wait, I've surpassed you now. Okay. Oh, we were tied before. Okay. Oh, never mind. That makes more sense. Because I was like, how are you before? ahead of me. You were ahead of me for a second whenever you got Phoenix before I got the Chompy, though. Yeah. I, I had a pet before you for like a year or something like that. Like, it was forever. Anyway, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, Pretty good. Um, Yeah, I really haven't done too much in RuneScape at all. I, like, hopped on for a little bit here and there, like a few hours, but... I didn't get any good drops or anything like that. So and you quit. Yeah, it, that's pretty much what I'm saying is like, yeah, I quit. But um, yeah, I didn't really get too much um, like drops, anything like that. I was just still at Rune Dragons and at Vires, but yeah, nothing really happened. So a pretty uneventful week for me. Tell them the other games you've been playing. Uh, No. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I just I've been playing some games with friends and stuff like that. But yeah, honestly, not 
too much else has been going on. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think that's honestly about it for me. I don't really have too many updates at all. Well, dang. Yeah, it's it's kind Any of Any life updates? No, I've just been... <laughs> I live a boring life. You do. I, I just do come well. home and like... I don't know, play video games and then go to work. <laughs> there's no there's no big update. So whenever something big doesn't happen in RuneScape, I just have no <laughs> I just have no actual updates. Yo, I didn't tell you. I almost cried on stream last night. Oh yeah, because you're a little baby. No, my nieces that I'm very close to are moving oh, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'm not gonna cry on stream. Like I don't want to cry on stream. I've almost cried on stream a couple of times. The other times were like I was being harassed. She cries on stream all the no, time. No, I don't. And I was like, I'm just gonna tell you guys a funny story instead, so I won't be like sad. And then the funny story, my niece. I have a nine year old niece that's obsessed with me, right? Oh, you're gonna cry again, right? No, now? I don't feel emotional right now. But it's so funny. Like, I'm her favorite aunt. Like, she even told me my other sister on my sister's birthday was like, oh, yeah. oh can I be your favorite aunt for the day? And she told her no, because Auntie Shell is her favorite. And, uh, yeah, she's great. You know, the reason she said I was her favorite is because I let her play Monopoly when she was four. And it was an awful time. Neither of us knew what we were doing. <laughs> that's, that's the reason that's why. The she But that's the reason she, she told me that when she was, like, six. <laughs> Wow. She said that that was the reason why I'm her favorite is because I let her play Monopoly. I think it's just because whenever um I go to family stuff, you know, a lot of adults like just kind of ignore kids to family stuff. Yeah, of course. I talk to her. Like I actually hang out with the kids in my family. I really like them. And I, I don't want kids. And I'm like, I want to be the favorite aunt is my thing. So uh, okay. I try to hang out with them. But uh, yeah, anyway, so she was like very clingy towards me. Robert had to come and pick me up and saw that like she was asking us if we could take her to Target before she had to leave and stuff because she had a little gift card. We ended up taking her to Target and she was like taking forever at the store and stuff. And she was saying that her foot hurt the entire time. And like she yeah. randomly started saying that her foot hurt whenever we all went to lunch before Target. And during the car, she was just like moaning and groaning like, oh, my foot. She was actually very loud about it. She was. She was. It was quite a boisterous uprising yes. of She thought I, I kept calling her like dramatic and she was like, you don't even think it hurts. And I'm like, no, I think it hurts. But I do think it's funny how loud you're being about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it hurt. Uh, I think it hurt a little bit. My sister told me the saddest thing ever. She's like, yeah, but the sister, that's her mom. Was like, yeah, I think that her foot hurts a little, but she's just her heart hurts and she doesn't know how to deal with it. So she's just manifesting as physical pain. And I was like, oh my god. Yeah, that's what's up. And I thought that was funny at the time. And then I tried to say it on stream last night, and I was like, I couldn't even finish my sentence for a second. I was like, oh no, this is gonna make me cry. <laughs> yeah, because you're a little baby. I'm not a little baby. It was funny though, because we were talking about like different things on stream and like uh, just like growing up, and because I was talking about Stranger Things, like relating to Will's character of all his friends who were like over playing stuff like playing with toys and stuff and he was still into it and i feel like that was me as a kid yeah and we were all talking about stuff like that and i just kept saying like oh my god that makes me want to cry and i think dating was like are you okay this is like the 10th time you said that makes me want to cry and i was like i've had a very emotional day today yeah, <laughs> like, everything makes you want to cry yeah happy stuff doesn't make me want to cry though i'm not a happy crier uh -huh. the one good way to cry i don't cry <laughs> okay yeah that's that's good but just wanted to share that if you guys want to see me cry twitch.tv slash babe yeah. I will I never do it. I'll get misty eyed. I'll stop talking for a second and then I'll stop. Yeah, I don't watch Stranger Things, but uh, I did see something about. <laughs> I don't oh, know. I caught up on it, by the way. Yeah. So people can talk to me about it now. <laughs> what you're talking about r does remind me of like, I saw a thing where they, you know, the kid that always has a bowl cut? Yeah. Yeah. I saw a thing where they, like, someone noticed that they missed out on, they missed his birthday. Like, everyone forgot his birthday. Wait, they did? I don't even remember that. Well, yeah, but it was like, like it was kind of like hidden in like the show, I guess. Oh. Where like, you know, when they're at the roller rink? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess whoever is recording on the recorder, it says it's March 22nd, which is his birthday. No. Yeah. No, because at the roller rink, it was so sad because his best friend was just hanging out with his girlfriend and not even his friend at all. And also... That kid, I'm pretty sure he's gay and that they're going to reveal that later. Maybe that's also why I relate to him because I'm bi. Okay. But, uh, oh, my God, that makes it so much sadder. Why would you tell me this? His know. best friend, like, wasn't even talking to him. That's what's up. Oh, my God. But, yeah, this is, like, the craziest tangent. Um, Stranger Things is scary this season. Talk to me about it, please, someone. Yeah. Uh, either way, so I guess we should probably <laughs> move on to the actual Well, there's so much updates. So we better week. hurry up. Yeah, the massive, massive update. <laughs> One, it's so long, it's like almost one page. 
Not quite, though. Yeah, not quite. Just almost. We almost made it. But um, either way, so we have some Giants Foundry changes. So, of course, Giants Foundry is the new minigame that came out just last week for smithing. So if you have not been around, then, yeah, there's a new minigame. Maybe try it out. And uh, apparently it does have some decent rates. I know I've still not come back. I've been too busy with Chambers and Slayer. I have not given it a try either. <laughs> mostly because I just can't be asked. And I'm not really and excited And you're not even for logging it. in. Yeah, I'm not really logging in as it is. And uh, like especially because I don't really want to get up smithing in a less efficient way. <laughs> so. I don't get why they didn't give us another pet. I feel like every other mini game they had a new pet. They answer that. They're, oh, they do? Okay, cool. Yeah, they answer that in the Q&A. But it really no just spoilers. comes down to that. They didn't really want to add another pet. <gasps> That's not gonna freeze in. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much that. But um, either way, we'll go through some of the changes. So there was sure. a ton of fixes, cold fixes, hot fixes, even lukewarm um, fixes. Lukewarm fixes, and even some like uh, world reboots and downtime because of oh. like so many issues. Maybe glad I haven't played it then. If there's all these changes. <laughs> yeah, but um. There actually didn't seem like there was any crazy, like, detrimental changes that needed to happen. Like, it didn't seem like there was any exploits happening from what I could tell, but... Like, it wasn't like Guardians of the Rift where they were, like, some crazy things were going on. Yeah, it didn't seem like any, like, super crazy stuff was going on. They just had a bunch of issues and had to restart the servers a few times, so... Okay. Yeah, apparently most of it's been fixed, and there were some changes to improve quality of life stuff in the minigame, such as reordering the molds to like least and most expensive uh changing some animations so that you can and also making it so that you can hand in a sword and then go into handing it an, or making another sword without like so much dialogue so just to make it a little bit faster okay nothing so too like crazy that. yeah honestly honestly not not too much craziness at all and so um yeah if you want you can read through all those changes there's about like six or seven of them, but a lot of them are just smaller hot fixes. Yeah. Um, as far as other changes, I think this is probably the most, the, the biggest changes for this week's update, which is funny because it's not really that big. Big boy changes. But um, most notably, they have added more chests. So two new chests for Scully's loot keys. So if you don't know what that is, um, they recently, recently added loot keys for PvP. Very oh. similar to how Dead Man was, where whenever you kill someone, they drop all their loot in the form of a key, allowing you to get much more loot than normal. Yeah, so you don't have to go and bank every single time as well, but yeah. you kill someone. Yeah, but you're risking much more than normal, I guess, as well. So True. it depends. It's up to you. And also, everyone gets notified by like the symbols above your head how many keys you have. Yeah, so, so if you have like four keys, people are going to be like, oh, we're getting this guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, they could be worth 10, like 10 GP each, but you do have four but keys. But they could be worth 10 mil each. Yeah, exactly. So um, they did add two new loot key chests. Uh, one is going to be upstairs in the Grand Tree Bank, which is a really popular spot because, of course, using the um, one-click teleport to the Grand Tree is very popular for <laughs> PvP. And also another one is going to be in the PvP-only world, of course, which is going to be at the Lumbridge Castle Courtyard. Hmm. So there's already a regular chest there, and so just on the other side of the stairs, they added another one for the Scully's Lukies. Nice. Yeah, so that'll make it a little bit easier. Um, as far as other stuff goes, unranked group Iron Man can now make use of the braziers at the God Wars Dungeons and Calphite Queen Lair and see whether uh, see whether the iron instances are occupied. Apparently there was an issue with that before. Um, the price changes for Baba Yaga has been decreased from 1% to 0.1%. I don't know why it was 10 times higher for some reason. <laughs> um, and honestly, the rest of the changes are so small, they're akin to having Shazian soldiers fighting Lizardmen no longer have the attack option. So, yeah, not too much happened. Wait, that's huge. Yeah, maybe probably the biggest change for the community is the adorable small change this week. Okay. Which makes it so that the Zamorak priest in in the temple inside of Varrock, now the door swings the appropriate way. So it swings open to the left so you don't have to run around the stone pillar. Oh, I've been yeah. waiting. 
Yeah, so as you can see here, yeah. It oh, it is. They do literally say adorable. Yeah, that's that's literally. I was what it waiting says. for you to be like, "There's a cute new animal." No, it's an adorable small chick. <laughs> One that I saw that I actually really liked just reading on his screen. It says the take net option on the spear angler next to the Tempros reward pool no longer involves dialogue. That was uh, actually really annoying every single time. Really? Do you know how many times I would click take net? click away and then be like oh my god i didn't even get in that because you have to talk to him and he's like he just stares at you in silence yeah he, he like <laughs> like judges you yeah the dialogue was funny to be fair yeah but also it wasn't funny when you had to do it over and over again that is very true i like that change yeah um as far as other stuff goes though there were a few other things that are definitely of note which are all pvp based so the pvp arena is actually open for beta this month wow um, yeah for public beta so if you want to try out the new pvp arena with some new pvp arena items then you can actually get full access to it in july so there's gonna be items yes wow. actually so if you've been keeping up with our recent polls which i actually have the poll results for oh, the most recent pvp poll and only three things passed. Which, Better than zero last time. Yeah, which is going to be the imbue scrolls for items for the PvP arena. So you can imbue your items similar to how Soul Wars is or the Nightmare Zone. Um, untradeable Blight Wave sacks. So you can Blight Wave for essentially free. As well mm -hmm. as Blighted Surge sacks. So both of those passed, which is nice. But everything else failed. Not by a lot either. There were a lot of them were seventy percent, but some were really down there at fifty percent. Okay, why did the ornament kits not pass again? Um, In my defense, I did not vote. One I forgot. of the big things is you couldn't vote. Oh. If you look at how many people voted or were allowed to vote on the PvP oh, sections, it is not a lot. It is nearly or less than two thousand players. Oh my gosh! While all the other stuff had twenty thousand players voting on it. So very, very few PvP so players. So I could have gone to vote and not even been allowed. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So very, yeah, very few. Though All the three of the ones that passed were allowed everyone to vote. Oh. But um, all the PvP ones, like the ornament kit for Dragon Claws, only 1,100 people voted on that one. I don't see why the ornament kits were PvP only. Because like, it because it's a reward from the PvP oh, arena. So the PvP people might not want to grind out collection logs, basically. Yeah, I don't I'm not sure. That's weird. Because they do let you everyone vote on the PvP reward for the Blighted Surge. Yeah. Strange. Um, but yeah, for instance, uh the Elder Chaos ornament kit and the Dragon the Warhammer one heavy, I wanted so bad. Heavy Ballista ornament kit, less than fourteen hundred people voted for. And the lowest that I think on this list of people that voted was the ornament kit for the Dragon Claws, which is 1139. Oh so my gosh. very, very few players taking part in this poll. That this sucks. I around. really wanted the Dragon Warhammer. It was like yeah. Dolman colors. So it cool. was really cool. Unfortunate. Only 1174 people voted for the um, <laughs> ornament kit for the Dragon Warhammer. Rude. So all of the void style gear did fail, including the head pieces for the void style gear, getting a very low 54% approval rate out of 2,200 votes. Um, so yeah, overall, that PvP poll was a disaster. Unfortunate, but that is what they're referencing here when they're talking about the recent polls. So you are going to be able to use the three things that did pass because they are going to be honoring the results. Cool. So you can check out the imbue scrolls, blight wave sacks, and blighted surge sacks. But because I'm sure they've already put a lot of work into this failed poll, they are <laughs> including you allowing you to use all of the sets that actually didn't pass as well. Well, in beta only, I'm guessing. Yeah, only in beta um, as far as I know at the you time. You know they're hoping that there's like a big group of people who are like we need it in game and then yeah. they get to vote again yeah i mean i don't know i don't blame them what their what their point is for doing this because i mean obviously it didn't pass they 100 so percent these... just want people to like it and tell them to add to the game yeah but i mean they'd have to run another poll which i don't know if that's going to happen as it is now Either i could way, though, see the news already Due to popular command, we've decided we're going to do... Popular, popular demand. No command. We've decided to do another pull. Yeah, and then so it feels good. The Mama's headgear, Chorus headgear, Saika's headgear, Superior Calamity armor, Elite Calamity armor, and Fighter's wrist wraps, which is essentially all just the Void, the mm -hmm. Fighter's torso, and the Bear's, Bear's glove. gloves, all will be available to use in the beta for the time being. So if you 
were one of the people that voted yes, but unfortunately aren't going to be getting the gear. You can try out the gear and see what you're going to be missing forever because we're not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, sadly enough, that is the reality we have where we are going to have to wait again to actually get rewards from the PvP arena shop. But if you do want to check it out and uh, try it out maybe with your friends or something like that, then you can go ahead and do that. Yeah, let us know what you think. Yeah. But as far as the notes go, there that is pretty much it. Oh. I mean, you can provide feedback for the arena and stuff like that for future blogs. But besides that, there is nothing else on this blog. Like I said, very, very small one. Mm -hmm. Not too many changes, just some updates and quality of life fixes mainly. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's going to be about it. Um, but if we go ahead and we can take a look at the Q&A summary for the mod Q&A summary. This is for um, just last week on the 6th. There, this was pretty much all pertaining to Giants Foundry and yeah. answering questions for that. This panel had Mod Sarni, Mod Dylan, and Mod Oasis. Like I said, that did depart us this week. Unfortunate, but I love how you say that like they died. They no, departed they this departed. world. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. Uh, either way, <laughs> they did answer some questions about um, pretty much everything that you could think of for Giants Foundry. They didn't really answer or get any questions for anything else. So um, it seems like they really wanted to focus on that this week, which I guess doesn't make sense because it did come out, although it wasn't, I guess, as big as, of a bang in the community. They still wanted to focus on it. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the good questions or one of the better questions was the bar box. So this is a, a reward that you was originally going to be put in, but it was essentially like the um, like the plank sack or just like oh, anything else, yeah. like the fish barrel. Um, but essentially, you could put 28 bars into this box. They hate us. That's why they got rid of this. No, apparently after Mod said or Mod Oasis said that after they sat down and actually did the math for the bar box, um, it turns out that it was very negligible increase in XP. And if not, it was actually slower than if you just were more efficient with your inventory management. So apparently it was just a bad idea from the beginning. How was it slower? Because I guess interacting with it however many times you needed to, it just would have been slower. They didn't just do like room patches. You click it, click on the box. Shift click it, box is empty. No, I, I think like just based on like what you need to bring with you to like make the bars along with having that in your inventory, I guess oh. the interaction just wasn't, yeah, it wasn't worth it in the end. Weird. Yeah. Um, a few other good changes was... Um, them talking about the colossal blade so a lot of people were wondering like like what was this intended for or that's the big sword that you can get from yeah it. the colossal blade is the new really big uh, that's giant better sword. for uh like big enemies yeah yeah exactly so um yeah essentially mod oasis was saying that um it's found its niche in pvp which i think is pretty cool I gotta tell you if i was in the wilderness and someone came at me with that big sword i would be terrified <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, they even admit to really not thinking there would have been a ton of uses for it and kind of just wanted to add it because it looks cool and um, thought people would look so or think so as well, which, yeah, I, yeah it does look it cool. Does. But uh, yeah, apparently it's just not going to like planning on being super useful. So you can use it for flinching or anything like that. But as far as uses go, there aren't many. <laughs> so if you're able to find one, cool. But yeah, apparently it was just implemented to look cool and not overwrite things like the whip or the bludgeon yeah which it definitely doesn't so i guess it kind of hit that spot where it's just like kind of cool kind of niche but um very specific things but mostly it's just like fashion scape it, yeah exactly and probably the biggest question and probably the last one i wanted to go over was uh, i think almost the very last and so this is a question about the future of smithing so it says that uh, this was mentioned to be the smaller of two skilling updates planned for the year and how the Giants Foundry dev team considered ways to rework smithing. Is there anything you can share about the potential larger update and possibly your plans to address smithing on a larger scale? So uh, Mod Oasis does go after this right away and say that it, it is nice. Uh, I mean, they are quitting, so they really don't have to get too much flack for this. But yeah, it is they can funny. say whatever they want. It is funny because they pretty much say that um, they never should have said anything about a second scaling update because as it is now, um, that has been pushed to not this year. 
Wow. Love that they get to just leave after saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine. That's probably such a good feeling. Be like, so, I could be brutally honest. Unfortunately. <laughs> I'm out. The second scaling update is not planned for this year. They did mention that, and it is apparently not happening anymore. They have since uh, redacted their statement, I guess. But um, the other half, which would include smithing and stuff like that, um, they do say that you have to tackle smithing in multiple parts because it is so involved with mining. And also not only that, but smithing is actually smelting and smithing in one. Mm -hmm. So it's actually, yeah, two skills. So it would take a long time to rework. And they want to add things like dragon armor, dragon plate body, dragon weapons. But it would be really weird to make it at like level 70, but still have rune plate bodies at 99. Yeah. And then along with that, you have to obviously consider mining and how that'll interact with that as well because those are very closely related. Being able to make dragon stuff would be so cool, though. Yeah, I definitely think so. <laughs> it's kind of weird that we can't. Yeah, I, I don't know how they would improve it, but yeah, you should at least be able to make dragon stuff and probably, hopefully, before it becomes out of style. So I don't, I don't, I don't know how they would fix that. But, yeah. Um. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Either way, though, they said that um, on top of all that, you have to address mining. Breaking it down into smaller problems means it's much more manageable to update that uh, wouldn't take years for us to get out. I think we'll have to make piecemeal updates over time to address it. So um, pretty much it seems like like everyone knows this will take a really long time to do. And so they don't plan on doing it anytime soon. But if they do, then they'll do it in parts. Okay. Yeah, and then it will not be a one day everything's changed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Unless it was just a massive update, which I just don't see no. really that happening. And then Mod Dylan even expands upon this and says uh, one of the big problems is actually allowing us to split from is uh, where we're looking at reworking smithing. It's not just the case of reworking smithing and the levels at which you can do things. It's like looking at nearly every drop table in the game <laughs> and all these that feed into what levels you can start getting large amounts of ore. Mm -hmm. So it's a much bigger job than in, let's just rebalance smithing. It's, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't do it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so this, again, I think we've said this it's before. It's just they shouldn't it, have mentioned it. It just does seem like a multi-year long like rework of a skill because it's so like intertwined with all the boss drops, other skills, like your progression as a character. But if it's going to take multi-years, you should start now. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they have some ideas and have started now. It's uh, like they keep putting degree. off because they're like, this is going to take forever. Let's wait a few years to start. <laughs> I'm like, please, yeah. sir, <laughs> yeah. at yeah. least talk about it. Yeah, kind of unfortunate, but... Unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, that, that's probably going to be about it for the Q&A. There wasn't a ton to go over. Like I said, it was pretty much all pertaining to Giant's Foundry. So if you want to check out anything uh, pertaining There's any to... any questions that you were like, I feel like they should have asked this. Maybe yeah. we didn't go over it. There was a lot of uh, questions and answers about Hill Giant lore that I just didn't want to like jump into because there was a lot to go over. I feel like there wasn't over. enough lore in this quest. It, yeah, I thought exactly. they were going to go That's deep into a it. A lot of people were saying that there should be more lore to then you just having found like stuff because apparently that's like the whole story is Kovac just found he found this place and was like kind of learning how to talk and he was like yeah not all giants are just brutes who can't speak and that was it yeah and I'm like but who, who made this yeah so apparently, yeah, <laughs> apparently there's no explanation for the dwarven area or anything like that no explanation yeah for why there's dwarven fitting gear that we can wear I'm yeah. like where did this come from yeah, Hopefully exactly. they make like a another version, like another little novice quest as like a sequel to yeah, answer some more questions. Like a little bit of a flavor quest. Yeah, like why that. not? But um, yeah, so that's about it. But as far as uh, there is one other thing I wanted to go over because I thought it was really interesting. And this does pop up on the Reddit every once in a while. And um, someone put up a poll for if Jagex asked us to pick a skill to add to OSRS, which one would it be? So this was between... And these are all undefined skills, but just skills that you would... Or actually, I guess they are defined skills. They're in RuneScape 3, but I don't know any of them. Yeah, So exactly. I can just guess on what they sound so, like. So, I mean, undefined as in there's no, like, exact, like, things they'd be putting into the game. Just, like, kind of an idea. Mm -hmm. And so there is artisan, sailing, warding, dungeoneering, and summoning. I'd want dungeoneering because it sounds like it'd be fun. I heard it was fun. Yeah, I heard it was fun people as well. People said it's fun in RuneScape 3. And also a lot of people say it's very, or it was, the closest thing to it is Gauntlet. 
Oh, that sounds really fun, then. Yeah, so I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking if it's anything like Gauntlet, which I really, really enjoy, then I would definitely like it. Although sailing does seem pretty cool, but Dungeoneering did win in this particular poll by a massive margin, 40%, with the closest being summoning at 26%. Mm-hmm. Summoning was very, very useful from what I recall. You could like summon, um, you could summon, uh, like pets and stuff to like carry stuff for you so you could have a bigger Cute. inventory yeah they'd probably have to change it a little bit but yeah it, it would it would totally break the game as it was now i think but um maybe that wouldn't be a bad thing <laughs> <laughs> no I, it would definitely totally break the game. they would have to rework it to be osrs but um something was crazy you could like yeah as far as i remember you could like get things that would increase your inventory or increase your xp or increase just like it was like ridiculous you increase a bunch of stuff and or you could just get one that does damage so they'd have to adjust it a bit but they'd probably just do the damage thing only yeah they'd have to definitely adjust it but i think honestly all this stuff they should they have to they have to add a new skill sometime soon you'd think it's been so long i literally posted a meme last night and it was the genie talking to a character and they're like three rules no wishing for death no falling in love no bring back dead people and the character said new skill please it's been over 10 years and the genie said there are four rules (laughs) (laughs) i posted it and was like oh what does everyone think of like new skills somebody on an uh, instagram said please no i don't want to max again someone on twitter said 2027 is a beautiful number. 2376 looks ugly. But I made a compelling argument to that, that if we add several new skills, we'll be at 3069, which oh, would just be nine, hilarious. It would go. be like nice. Which Eileen came in with the answer that I agree with the most, which is at this point, I have zero trust in the OSR's community voting yes on new scale. I'd vote yes even if I hated it. <laughs> Literally. There is no Literally. chance anyone would agree. I know that nobody wants to max again, but... I beg of you, it's not a bad thing to add new things to a game. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. It could be fun. Yeah, it could, it, it could, it <laughs> this, could be fun. This video game, this game that we're gaming on could be fun. It could be fun, <laughs> but it won't be. But please. Uh, one other skill that I thought was really cool. A lot of people like will come up with these skill ideas and like propose them. People are so creative. I love on, it. On OSRS, the subreddit. But um, another one is engineering. And this is taking aspects of the invention skill from RuneScape and also engineering the profession from Vanilla World of Warcraft. So um, I'm not going to read through it. There's a lot of pages, but I did think it was a really well done um, idea. And I thought it'd be cool. I It would never get added to the game, but it does seem like a pretty cool idea. And I do like when people come up with these like like mock-ups or blueprints of like what a new skill would look like. It makes like. me a little sad that people spend so much time doing this and everyone's like, no, no, no skill. <laughs> yeah but like, that would please. be pretty cool either way um yeah i thought that was kind of interesting to like think about a new skill i mean we'll never get one but it i would think be... we'll get one eventually i think it may take a long time I, I mean it's funny because i think the game has been out longer without getting an, an update for a new skill than it has not that's really depressing because i mean what the game is not 20 years old right I have no idea how old the game is. Yeah, I think I think they have like the because I mean, yeah. Either way, either way, I think it is. Fact check me, but I'm pretty sure we haven't had. We know a, Robert likes to lie on here. I know. <laughs> I, I I think we haven't had an update with a new skill for longer than it's been out. That's sad. It's okay to add new or skills. M- much longer, like the, the half life of it. Perhaps maybe think of what skill you'd like to see and suggest it on Reddit. See if people like it. Yeah. Maybe you'll have the best idea that everyone loves. Yeah. Again, going back, it's like the number one comment on that uh, thread is reads all comments, realizes why no skills, no new skills get added. It's probably just a lot of people being like, I'm already maxed. This isn't fair. Yeah. <laughs> and no one can agree on anything. So it's unfortunate. Yeah. But that's just how it is. Um, as far as that, though, that is going to be about it. But we do have questions. We do. I think this is actually going to be a shorter episode, probably. No, definitely. It will yeah. Be. We're also recording this an hour before it goes out, so it's probably going to be late. But, you know, I had a busy day yesterday. Also, I have a flat tire. It'll be fine. And that got in the way, too. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. It's fine. Our first question from Harger on Twitter. What has been your favorite holiday event since OSRs began? I don't remember, like, older ones. I didn't look up ones I haven't done because I already know my favorite was the Christmas one last year. Oh, you like the ring a lot? Remember, I loved it. It was so much fun. And I love the way that they decorated everything in Falador. It was like actually beautiful. I was just walking around moving the camera like, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I, I love really Christmas. Cool. I love Christmas time. I think time. that was 
the coolest one in recent memory because that was the first time we had HD snow. Yeah, I think HD made a big difference on why that's my favorite. Yeah, 100%. I wonder if going back to old ones, if I'd have a different favorite. Yeah, Because, I mean, there was that, like, goblin one where we're, like, sledding down a hill or something, right? Yeah. I bet that would have been really cute in HD. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's 100% my favorite. Mine is funny because it's one that I didn't do. But you I never like do it. Them. Yeah, I never do them. But I like it specifically because of the reward that I also didn't get. And it's the Easter event. This year? No, from last year. What does last year's Easter event do? It's the one oh, with the, the door. door. It's the book Wait, door. Wait, the door is actually really cool. The Easter egg door. Yeah, it's it's really cool. I liked it a lot. It's probably one of my favorite items in the game from an event. It's but, actually um, very cute. Yeah. It's but like I, a very colorful Easter egg door that you just carry around like a shield. I didn't get it. So I didn't I didn't do the event. I don't know why. You but, could claim um, it from Django. Yeah, I could. But either way, yeah, that's probably my favorite because I thought it was really cool. Mm-hmm. That one was actually pretty fun as well. Yeah. That was one of my first videos I ever made. And it's the most awkward video in the world because I wasn't speaking. I just did a walkthrough because I was weird. Yeah, I'm a little awkward. I made it in rubber setting and he's like, oh, so this isn't really a guide, is it? And I was like, it was a walkthrough. I know, it definitely wasn't a guide. It was just her doing the quest and then talking once. Oh, my God. I felt so cringe. Stuff feels so cringe about it. Anyway, next question from Matt. What is your favorite OSR's bridge? Mine is the Castle Wars Bridge. Not only does it look badass walking to the massive castle across the bridge, but also brings back great memories of Castle Wars in its prime. Oh, yeah. I was yes. actually thinking about that as well because a lot of people do PK there, mm -hmm. um, like in PvP worlds and stuff like that. So I was thinking about that because it's fun to watch that for me. Even though I don't PK, it's, it's fun to watch that. So it's kind of a memorable bridge. Is that your favorite? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. You want to answer first for me? Oh, you can go ahead. Mine is the Shazian Bridge that goes over like the Lizard Canyon thing. I love it. I remember the first time walking across that bridge and I think I actually said out loud like, oh my God, <laughs> it's like a really long bridge. There's like a bunch of the Shazian like soldiers on it, just like fighting and stuff. Yeah. And it's just like on both sides, you could see like fire and like the lizard men just like spitting their acid and stuff. And it's just. It's really hardcore, especially with HD and the yeah, lighting changes. Yeah, especially with changes. HD. Yeah, that lighting there is really good. Dude, I went and like walked across it today because I couldn't remember exactly where it was. And I like was seeing the lighting change from like lighter to suddenly getting darker as you cross it. I was like, this is cool. Yeah, it's, it's a very menacing war vibe. <laughs> it is. It's like, it's the most like movie-like bridge in the entire of RuneScape that I can remember. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that there's other bridges that I also love, but that's the first one that came to mind. Yeah. I also love how specific this question is, and I actually have a very specific answer to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It took me a while to actually think about this one. because I know I, he was like, bridge, and I was like, I already know my answer. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I couldn't really think of one off the top of my head. There's not a right list away. of bridges either, which is annoying. Yeah, there's no like bridge that's super memorable. I mean, I think the default answer for a lot of people would be Lum Bridge, just because it goes over the River Lum, and it's the first one you ever go over probably that's like the nostalgic bridge yeah that's like literally everyone's first bridge so. everyone's first bridge and it's your first bridge that's like taking you away from where you began yeah it's taking you to cows dude well no it could take you <laughs> it could take <laughs> you to alkari if you cross and you go a certain way you could make your way to varok and stuff no of course but i mean most people just go to cows okay <laughs> you know what <laughs> i'm just saying but uh, either way, I, I didn't want to answer that one just because it's it is kind of a cop out answer. So I went with something a little bit different of an answer. And so I'm going to say the bridge to get to nature's spirit. The one that I, doesn't work. I like that one. You know, when you <laughs> search bridges, that's like one of the only two bridges that they show. Oh, really? Yeah. That's I searched funny. it on uh, the wiki. I like it because it's just a broken bridge, but it's actually a really pretty area. Yeah. It's like all swampy and green and stuff. It's funny because um, don't you get agility from jumping over that bridge? I think so. Yeah, it's funny because it's like an agility shortcut, essentially. That I fail every time despite my agility being high. Yeah, <laughs> but I think it's most memorable for me because I've seen people like go there and jump that bridge like a trillion times to get like levels. That's hilarious. Like tile account situations. Yeah. Or, yeah, like tile accounts or like region locked accounts and yeah. that's like the only agility shortcut they can do that's too funny and so yeah that i thought it was hilarious and also i think it's pretty memorable in that 
everyone fails that jump sometime. Dude, I still fail that jump and I'm 86 agility. Yeah, like everyone fails it's that ridiculous. jump. I hate going to Clue Scrolls there because I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Especially whenever you don't have like the uh, fire unlocked in that area and the you fail and then the gas are just getting you and like ruining your food and you're yeah. just like, oh my God, cross, 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 cross. Yeah, it's, it's memorable because it's annoying. So that's exactly. why I chose that. You know another good one is the bridge, um, the tall bridge on the way to the wizard's tower. The tall bridge on the way to the like the tower. stone one, but it looks like it's like isn't oh. it kind of like up above water? Loki yeah, looks yeah, like yeah, it's a pretty big bridge. That's a big bridge. That one's my, really pretty. My second bridge, well, I think it's a bridge. I could be misremembering it, but my second bridge would be Myth Guild Bridge. The Myth Guild one's very cool because it's really cool. Like it is dope. like passing into the Myth Guild is really really cool. Myth Guild's just very scenic. Yeah. Wait, I have another one that I really like. The one that Cecilia stands on in Falador Park. Cecilia. Yeah. You don't do hard clues enough. Oh, yeah. No, when she, you have to tell her the song. Yeah, it's right? just a little bridge over a pond, and there's always little ducks just sitting on the bridge. Yeah. And it's adorable. Yeah, it's, it's cool. <laughs> That's the one that I would like in real life. The shazing one is the one that I like in video games. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know we'd have so many questions for the bridge question. So anyway, the rest, rest of my top question. 10 bridges. <laughs> Either way, I made a video on my top 10 bridges and Honestly, how to get there. Now I want to walk around RuneScape and see what other bridges there are because there's actually some really cool bridges. Yeah. I like this game so much. Next up, we have a few questions from St. Wraith from Discord. Do you think OSRS will become mainstream? Why or why not? I think it low-key already kind of is. Um, It is. It's not as popular as it can be. Yeah. But I think it is kind of mainstream. Yeah. Like, it's very popular. I was looking it up and it's estimated like over a million people played every day. Yeah, it's hard to say for me whether it's like mainstream because like while it is technically, mainly because of, um, while it is like technically one of the top, I think one of the top, definitely in the top 10 MMOs. The top five. Yeah, it could be in the top five as well. Um, but like, those other ones like World of Warcraft are bigger yeah they're, they're so significantly bigger mm -hmm. like uh mmos like um i think it's like, like final fantasy are just so much bigger i feel like but... we're right on the outskirt of being mainstream because like half of the people that i mentioned old school too they're like oh i know that game but yeah. then half the people are like what's that it's hard to say exactly the reason i can't say whether it is or isn't is because like i don't know what you would consider mainstream like if i would consider mainstream like world of warcraft everyone knows what it is yeah exactly that's what i was thinking which is why i would say no because yeah. there's still a lot of people that are like oh i don't know what that is but mm -hmm. like even while final fantasy 14 had like a more recent uprising i think that is now the most popular mmo mm -hmm. um i think a lot of people still know what final fantasy is just because it's a really old game series and so they'll have memories from that oldie but a goldie so maybe yeah, maybe not just because, yeah, not everyone knows about it yet, but I think it's getting close. Do I think it ever will be, though? Is like I think yes. I don't know. I think they need to add more things. They need not be scared to make changes if they want to be mainstream. Yeah, I, I just... Yeah. Like, you can't go mainstream and be like, but they haven't had a new skill in 10 years, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's honestly more like nostalgia than anything that like makes it's the game memorable. It's harder to get new players. Yeah, it's not like anything crazy. Like you don't have like you're not gonna. I don't think they'll ever be known for like the most players or anything like that. Yeah, but we could get more known. Yeah, for I guess sure. so. So yeah, I I guess probably sometimes I no, randomly see almost... I sometimes see OSRS trending on Twitter when I'm just on my main Twitter. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, people do know. Also, I've been like cutting use this entire time on my main account, and this person keeps trying to talk to me, and they're just saying things like, I say chop chop because I use my special, and they're like, I can chop too. Watch your back, and I'm like, why are you like? What do you keep talking to me for? Yeah, when you sit here and chop trees for like 700 hours, then um, you kind of go crazy. Yeah, I just don't want to talk to them. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Easy. Easy, I know I'm not. All right, next question is also from Wraith. Would you still play OSRS if we lived in the era before the wiki and YouTube guides? Why or why not? I would. I did as a kid. Yeah. I just would not be this far into the game. Yeah, no I way. think... Um, same, like I did for I'd a little bit. I'd probably be a skiller. <laughs> I probably would just do exactly what I did, which was play for a little and then quit because I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Which I think a lot of people would. Yeah, I don't as well. think I. I don't think I would still play, but I don't think I would have played as long. 
No, yeah, I definitely, I definitely would have quit because that's what I did. I got bored. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to do things, and then yeah, I just we've, left. Yeah, we've talked about before. RuneScape is not great at like telling you all those things that you can do in their game. No, it's, it's <laughs> a, that's why they're redoing the new player experience because it's awful. Yeah, someone mentioned Imperial Pro again yesterday, and I was like, oh my god, I keep forgetting that that's a thing. Yeah, it's not something it you think Because it was never of. mentioned, ever. They never tell you about that. Yeah, exactly. So there's too much stuff in this game that you have to go and find out about yourself. So without Wiki and YouTube, like, I wouldn't know half the things that I do now. Yeah, I have no, no clue how people would know. I didn't even know that Chambers, like, raids existed until we, like, started this podcast because it was still yeah. on my radar. Like, anyone that knows about RS or OSRS and you tell them that there's raids in it. They're like, what? Yeah, a lot of them <laughs> don't know that even exists. I don't think that they ever tell you about that either. I mean, Theater of Blood, now there's the entrance quest. Chambers doesn't have an entrance quest, though. No, it doesn't. It doesn't even have a quest. Well, it has a quest that takes you to it. Like, you have to do the guide quest that, like, you talk to the guide and go to Mount Quigamortum. Mortem. But, but you don't um, know why you're there. Yeah, you don't go into Chambers or anything. I they think should they, honestly make they, a quest they reference for that. It. They reference it, but who's gonna? no one's going to read the quest. Yeah. Like, I did that quest. I didn't even realize that that was a raid, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I'd I'd still play just not as long because I wouldn't know what to do. Yeah, I'm glad that they're gonna add that thing to like give recommendations though. That'll be really nice. I agree. I think that'll be really good. Probably the last question: What OSRS item would you want to exist in real life? I would want fairy rings. Teleport wherever I want. It'd be in very set locations though, huh? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, but still, it'd be nice. I was thinking runes to teleport all over, but that's also. Like, kind of um, specific places. Fairy rings just seems like it would look really pretty, too. Yeah. We'd have it, like, on our patio. It would look very scenic. Okay. Our patio is not... It's, like, all cracked and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. What about you? Um. Yeah, I was going to say teleports, but I don't know how, like, literal we're taking this. I'm taking very literal, like, fairy rings I could use to teleport. Yeah, I was like, I could bring, like, the, you know, the book that has all the scrolls in it for teleporting. Ooh, that's a good one. But I was like, I don't know where that would take me in real life. Yeah. So I mean, I imagine I would just replace it with real places. That's why I was hesitant to say runes, too, because runes, I feel like you can't unlock all magic, you know? Yeah. So it and also, it's good. like, what magic level am I in real life? Exactly. Fairy rings you but, can um, use anytime. Either way, if we're just having fun with this, then I would we probably are. say the teleport book. But if we're being more realistic, then I would just say the single skill of high alking. Oh my gosh, imagine. Yeah. I want a new chair. My chair's so squeaky. I'm yeah, just we, could just, we could just high alk in and buy a new one. Yeah, so I'm just going to have to sell it on Facebook and it's going to be annoying. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess probably high alking. That's good. I I mean, is high alking even a thing? Kind of. Like you could, I'll, I'll just bring the runes for high. I don't know, because I, I guess that would also be weird, because like, would you bring the runes? Can you cast magic? I don't know. <laughs> Wait. I think I'm taking this too seriously. One thing I can take. The chompy pet. I was going to say the golden chin chompa pet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. And he'd be immortal. No. He'd be immortal. That would be sad for him. No, he would die very soon. He wouldn't have a normal chinchilla life. He'd have a long chin chompa life, like a turtle living oh, for like 60 years. Okay. Oh my God. Imagine an old baby chin chompa with like little gray hairs all around the gold. Yeah. In that case, that'd be sweet. Because I, I don't think like my other answers were realistic. I'd just choose like the herbivore or something. Can you imagine us, our two pets, just a real life hog with herbs all over and yeah. then a golden little Pokemon? I imagine, I imagine the herbivore being like a micro pig. Oh my god, how cute would that be? Yeah. Micro pigs are adorable. You just know, a micro really pigs, small pig. They don't stay that tiny forever. They go into like standard pig sizes. Uh, I mean, not like I, I not think, as big as like hogs. But. Yeah, I think they got standard pig size still being like relatively small. Yeah, but still like they don't stay like. The size of your hands forever. Yeah, yeah. They get to like a pretty normal size. Yeah. Besides that, though, I'd probably choose a god sword. When would you need a god sword? Exactly. See, you wouldn't want to kill people in real life. Then you'd just have trauma. Uh, it'd just be like, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like there's no good item to bring into real life besides like animals That's or like a teleporting s stuff. Like a, a, I mean, the teleporting stuff, it's like, do you have the skills from RS? Like, you know I what I was, I didn't want to say this because I'm calling myself out. If I could bring one thing and I brought fairy rings, I wouldn't have a drama and stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why I was like, the only thing you could realistically bring is the teleport book because you only need yeah, the scrolls. Yeah, I bring the master teleport scroll book, yeah. whatever it's called. Yeah, exactly. And then the baby chinchampa and he'd get old and have little gray whiskers. Yeah, I'd probably just get a... 
You're yeah. like, I'd get the bloodhound. Just a dog you could get in real life. Yeah, the, the scroll <laughs> book or a pet or, I don't know, what would I do with a suit of armor? Sell it or something? I don't know. Hey, we you could use the money. Yeah, I guess You know so. what I mean? I'd get full gilded. <laughs> I don't know. I'd just like bring the dragon helm, sell it for a hundred bucks. Exactly. Yeah. But, um, That's yeah. That's why I said full gilded. You just sell full gold for way more. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Rather than a dragon helm, people would be like, you just painted this red. <laughs> True. But, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I like how uh, we. I was kind of getting stressed out with how seriously I was taking that question. Yeah, I was like, I, I was I like, don't God, know. I don't even have a drum and staff. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what I would bring that's like of value without the skills from RuneScape. Exactly. So I'll settle on the Golden like, Chinchampa. Oh, bring a Tebow. It's like, what am I going to do with that? I don't even need to be Golden. I just need a Chinchampa. Yeah. <laughs> a baby Chinchampa? Duh. I mean, any Chinchampa, they're all little babies. Okay. But, uh, yes. What are you going to be doing this week? Um, uh, just still playing some RS, you know, getting in when I can, you know, at, uh, Rune Dragons. I thought you were at and, Firewatch and Bull. Uh, Firewatch. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like switching back and forth. Oh, okay. Got you. What about you? Uh, more chambers and hopefully do like one more Skatizo. One Skatizo a week until I get that stupid claw. Oh yeah. Right now I have a Jad task. That's why I wasn't really. Oh, uh, yikes. Yeah. I I don't skip jad tasks because there's a one out of hundred chance of getting the pet. Yeah. But man, I really don't like them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are good points and good XP. They're but... great points. I already have range and hit points at ninety nine, so the XP oh, doesn't I meant, like, matter. Slayer points. Oh, Slayer XP, they're great. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it it's just boring to me now. It is. Yeah. A lot jad, of I like. I like it. me on stream. <laughs> I am so bored there until like level fifty. Once all of them start coming out, then I'm like, all right, now I'm like more awake. Yeah. But before that, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so dull. (laughs) Which is so funny. Past me, you could have never imagined this happening. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of funny how that works out. Right? But, um, yeah, I hope there's more updates next week. Yes. Or in the coming weeks. I had another thing happen. I got five nightmare kills. Oh, nice. I didn't even tell you that, did I? No. Yeah, I did nightmare after chambers the other day and I got five kills. I only died twice before the first one. Oh, that's really good. I tried Nightmare in the past and I died. But uh You do them solo? No. There was oh, like okay, five okay. of us, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I tried in the past with four people. Or no, five of us. Three of us didn't know how to do Nightmare. So yeah. us three died and then the other two just kept getting the kills. It's not too difficult. You kinda yeah, it's not too hard of a fight. Yeah. It was a little annoying, but uh that's also just because I don't like reading about what to do, really. I read about what to do a month ago. I did not want to read it again, so I was just kind of following everyone else's lead. Yeah. And I was like, if I die, I die. But yeah, that's a... Uh, I wanted to share that real quick, but that's it. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's going to be about it for this week. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by, giving us your time, and hopefully you enjoyed listening. Yeah, if you have any questions, you could ask us them on social media. Our Twitter is BoonBabeOSRS. Our YouTube, Instagram, the stream are all Boon Babe. Twitch.tv slash Boon Babe stream five days a week. Come hang out. Yep. Make sure to join our Discord if you want to join the community, play with some of us, or just get notified whenever we go live. Mm-hmm. And we're doing weekly bond giveaways still. We do. Alfresco finally won. Shout out Alfresco. Been entering yep. since the week we started last year. Yeah. And anytime we have bigger giveaways or drop parties, then you'll be notified there first as well. Yeah. Planning to do one next month, but need gold first. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. Yep. Thanks, everyone. Hopefully, you all have a great day, and we'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Beep, skirp.